We're on the road again. What are, where are we going today, Zeb? We are headed to Park City, one of my favorite places to pick furniture up because I love going up there. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, my job doesn't suck today, so we're going to share some views. We'll show you what we buy. Um, we might hit up, if they're open, some like thrift stores. There's uh, a Habitat for Humanity up there that we like to check in on. Yeah, and we're going to catch some lunch and then be back by the time the kids get out of school and maybe paint some stuff. All right, we got the dresser loaded up. I buy a lot of furniture, but I've never seen one like this, which is why I decided to drive up to Park City because I really couldn't pass it up. But we also scored dun, 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 a really cool bed. I don't know if we're gonna leave it as is or make it a really fun bench, but these two pieces are cool. I think that might be an as is piece. And as is, Seb doesn't like to make benches. Comment below if you want us to make a bench. I also met a really fun pupper. We, I've been playing catch for like five minutes now. <laughs> I mean, without fail, catch and return, catch and return. All right, one more time. All right, I got to sneak in the car. I felt like this was video worthy. We stopped at uh, Chicks. This is Zeb's breakfast. So I wanted to try their biscuits and gravy because I love them. And I'm like, oh, I'll just get a short stack of pancakes because, you know, I make pancakes and I really like to try other people's to see how I'm doing. And the short stack is huge. <laughs> I was like, I'll just order a breakfast burrito. And then this ginormous thing came. I'm like, that's breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's a whole situation. So if you come to Chicks in Hebrew, just be ready to have lots of food. But Zeb looks like he's up for the challenge. They also have a buttermilk syrup that I'm also going to sample. We'll see yeah. how that goes, because I do that too. You sample buttermilk? No, I make it. <laughs> hey, I like those. They're too much. How much are they? 15, uh, 10, 15, and 28. I like that, but not for five bucks. Here, put this one in your basket. Oh, that's good. Is it two? $10.95? It's two. Okay. What's, what's this one? That's the one I'm trying to get to. No price on that one. $3.99. All right, we'll ask. That one below looks like five bucks. That's so cute. Well, I don't think I've seen this one. Is the other one missing the bottom? Is it just a cork or plastic? It's plastic. So we just popped into the uh, Heber Valley Christian Thrift Store and found some really great things. They, the prices were a little higher than we were expecting, but surprise, they had 50% off of most of the store. Yeah, it's funny because we checked out and there was one thing that didn't have a price and she's like, well, let me check it. And she's like, oh, $15. I'm not too proud to pass on stuff if I feel like it's not priced well. Anyway, she goes, but it's half off. I'm like, wait a second. She's like, yeah, the whole store is half off. I'm like, well, I'm going to have to take a whole entire other pass because with half off eyes, things looks a lot better. Yeah. Things looks, things look a lot better. Anyway, so I wound up buying about twice as much as we would have. So it was a good day. The other great thing I love about shopping at thrift stores, like this one supports a community food bank. So not only are we sourcing items there, we're getting good deals, but then we're also supporting a good cause. Here's my stack of books for the reading on the way home. Some of them aren't in English. <laughs> Brush up on your Swedish. My Swedish? No, I just like to like, on our drive home, I like to look up stuff because I can hardly wait. So I'm going to look up 
all of these books online and see what the value is and see how old they really are. And then we have, most of it's in bags, but we've got some really fun pieces back here. It was definitely a good place to shop. back at old trusty uh, DI in American Fork, Utah. See if we can cap off the thrifting for the week. Too soon? I don't know. I'm gonna grab these. What do you think about the uh, candelabra, Zeb? So, the the rose gold copper situation is a little off. We're gonna need to change that, I think. I think we can do it. They're 25 bucks for the pair, which is kind of a lot, but they're ginormous. So, let's see what we do. So, Saturday we didn't have that many things to paint. We finished three, and we only yeah. have three things today, which is good, because we, we drove to Park City. Yeah, we saved the big stuff for today. We've got this big clock. Jamie was like, I wonder how hard that face is to take off, and she hit it a little bit, and it popped right off of there. That's gonna make painting it super easy. So now the rest of that's off and I'll reattach that. And we're probably just gonna do a new clock mechanism in that one. This one is fine, but I'm gonna pull it out because I think we're gonna stencil. I think so. This is going to be getting a French paint job. My friend Marlene bought it and I know what she likes, so I'm gonna make sure it looks really, really cool. This is just gonna get a basic paint job. We'll pick one color, wet distress, white wax and done. And then the clock on the end is gonna get a little Mora makeover because it's Mora awesome. Mora awesome. Good job, little buddy. I've been punny all day. Okay, the clock and the mirror are gonna start out with white swan. I checked, the clock is not priceless. I think it's worth more painted, I feel like. So we're gonna give it a French look. So one coat of white all over the whole thing. We'll let that dry, wet distress it really good. And then I'm gonna come back with pink and green and maybe some dark wax. I'm gonna really French country it up. And I'm not painting the face, so I gotta be neat. I don't care if all the paint gets it down and all the cracks, because I'm gonna take a lot of the paint off anyways. For the paint, brushes, stencils, and products used today, visit jamierayvintage.com, your one-stop shop for DIY boutique products. You have a passenger brush over there. What kind of brush you want? Flat? Yeah. And I'm gonna need the apothecary and the aviary. I only have Did you... farm fresh and aviary. Farm fresh and aviary, that yeah, I thought you were doing a weathered wood base. Uh, no, I'm gonna leave it black. All right, so I'm just kind of haphazardly putting this on. This is gonna be an undercoat. I'm gonna probably do this two or three times and then go white over the top. Jamie doesn't really wanna see the red coming through, so I will not, I'll be careful not to get any of that red when I distress this. I thought we have a little peek through. I just don't like the way that that was distressed. It was very streaky. Yeah, it was. It was like they- They used latex. It's like it was latexed. Is that a thing, latex? Latexted. It was latexted. That sounds French. It was latexted, but it's not French. It's American wall paint. All right, we're gonna let that dry, or more appropriately, I'm gonna heat gun it, and then I'm gonna come back with the aviary over the top of that fill in all the cracks, maybe do a second coat of the Farm Fresh where it's a little lighter. Then I'm gonna come back over with white and bring these colors back through with some sandpaper when we're all done. All right, got this dry, now it's time for the aviary. And I'm just gonna go everywhere. I might do full coverage in aviary. Did that, I don't think that clock already sold. I don't think this mirror did either, but the clock on the end did sell. Yeah. So if you're watching this and you're like, hey, that looks interesting, <laughs> stop. <laughs> or whatever. Interesting, uh, very interesting. What is Zeb doing <laughs> over there? He's mixing his greens, he's doing some stuff. You can stop by jrvhome.com and either look up Saturday Thrift Hall or just check out the Antique Vintage Found collection. You can find a lot of things that Zeb and I have painted, thrifted, whatever. Not everything gets scooped up right away. Some of the good stuff lingers. If this gets thrown into the Zeb's corner because I go too wild on it, look for it there. <laughs> I haven't been putting anything in Zeb's corner in a while. Yeah. This is gonna be cool because I'm gonna cover this all with white when I'm done. 
Well, then that's all right. It can go with my stuff. Mixed amongst all this curated detail situation, there's flowers and there's leaves and roses. So I'm just gonna come in and lightly hand paint and bring out the detail. I'm okay if I get a little green where I'm gonna paint pink. It's fine, because I'll come back. But I got it's kind of like the Where's Waldo of flowers because once you paint it all white, it's really hard to find the flowers. Although it was hard to find it when it was gold too. I think since you're painting it underneath, once you go back on with the pink, some pink's gonna go over the top of the leaves. It's gonna look great. Well, and I'm gonna wet distress it. So if I get paint where I don't want it, it's fine. I'll just distress it off. before waxing is just a damp, wet paper towel. You could use a rag, you could use a baby wipe, whatever. This is gonna come off fairly easily because it's plastic and it hasn't sat very long. Once I'm done with that, then I may hit a few spots with paint, but then it'll really be ready for wax and done. I've got the clock face here. I'm gonna go in with some more white swan. This clock face wasn't bad. It was it was a good clock face. Sometimes you get them and they're printed and they're they're like pixelated. They're not very good. This one was a good clock face. But we're going to use our stencil on it. I think it's going to be cool. Okay, so I want I don't want this to necessarily have full coverage. So what I'm doing is I've just got some water. I'm dipping my brush in it. Every now and then I'll dip back in the paint and I want it to have kind of a washed look over this green and the farm fresh. So every now and then I'll dip, then I'll dip in the water, then I'll wash it. You can get similar effects with a spray bottle, but I find if you're just out here, you got a brush, dip it in the water, thins your paint out a little bit, still getting pretty good coverage, but it's definitely thinner. So the other day you guys saw me struggle with a clock stencil. I'm gonna see if I can redeem myself and not get bleed through underneath the letters and be patient. I feel like you can. So this is our full size Mora clock stencil and it'll do most clock faces. I'm just gonna really offload and make sure that I'm not too juicy with it. Let's see if I went too juicy or not too juicy. Ooh, I vote not too juicy. You did awesome. I guess I'll keep you. Okay, the last thing I'm doing before I wax this is this already had a great metallic base, so I'm just gonna wet distress and bring back a lot of that undertone and the gold back to this piece. You wouldn't wanna use an orbital sander because you would flatten out all of this detail, sand through the antique gold that's underneath. A wet distress is really your best option. This right. is where it was before. Okay, go over to the left just slightly. Oh, I see what's happening. We so lost- So the 60 and the 30 don't fit. So we need to probably, we'll just paint over that. Let's take that out and paint over that so you can't see it. Okay. Clear wax time. Oh man, that really brings all those other colors back when I yeah. do this. On the white, it's not as noticeable, but on those colors, you really get a lot of vibrancy. Then it'll tone back. So we get a lot of people that when they wax, they're like, oh no, I've got splotchiness. So either you need to add more wax or wait for it to dry if you've got enough on there because it absorbs differently. So like it's gonna absorb here and then I gotta re-dip my brush and then I'll do it again. Now I got double coverage there. You just gotta wait for it to dry out a little bit and it'll be fine. Usually it smooths out within a day or two on the finish. You, you Give me a wax. paper towel so I can wipe it back. Yeah. Oh, you're making it worse. It's going to be aged now. You probably should have let that dry more and wax the letters and then wax the white and not wipe so hard. It's okay. It's going to be cool. It's sitting down in there. All right. So what I 
So what happened there was I didn't let my black dry long enough. And you swiped it way too hard. Yeah, I was really going aggressive. And I got quite a bit of smearing from my stencil. And now it's sitting down in the crackle on the paint like a glaze. So I won, but if you don't want that, I would seal with a liquid top coat over the top of like your stencils if you can, or let them sit a lot longer before you wax. Well, another trick that I like to do is just lightly wax it, let it dry a little bit, and then wax the rest. I've decided that after clear waxing this, I wanna add a little bit more detail. So I've got my little stencil brush and my rag because you wanna work quickly and efficiently. And I'm gonna come in and just bring in some darker detail with my black wax. You don't wanna do a whole bunch at a time because you gotta wipe back pretty quickly. Otherwise, it'll get real muddy looking. And if I hadn't a clear wax this, it would definitely be muddy looking. So the clear wax helps give me a little bit of control. Projects are done. This is nice and bright and airy. Really love this finish. We might be doing it on a few more pieces. Each of these pieces cost us about seven to eight dollars at Savers, which is a steal because we sold them for about seventy dollars each. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. Best profit margin from the haul. If you want to make over your thrift hauls to look like these, visit jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products used. The mirror, as of right this second, is still available, so I'll have Zeb drop the link to our JRV home website, which is where we sell our thrift flips, home decor, home furnishings, and more. Be sure to give this video a hold on. Thumbs up and subscribe to JBRay Vintage for more DIY. <laughs>